Hello everyone. Welcome to Resident News. Hope you've all watched the great conjunction of uh, Jupiter and Saturn as it happened. We are very happy to bring to you this video on intuitive predictions for 2021. Our guest today is Charu Kumar who is a professional tarot reader, numerologist and past life regression therapist. She will be doing the readings according to career, love, health for each sign. And this video can be watched for uh, your sun sign, your moon sign or ascendant sign. If you want, you can watch for all the three signs and uh, take whatever resonates with you. We'll be giving you the timestamps in the description. If you want, you can directly jump to your sign by clicking on the timestamp in the description of this video. Other than that, this is also a great time for manifestation and we had already done a video on water manifestation. You can also watch that video. So that's about it. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Charu Kumar and I'm a professional tarot card reader, a numerologist and a past life regression therapist. And today we're going to be talking about predictions for the year 2021 for all the zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. We're going to be using a set of tarot cards today to do the prediction. Uh, tarot is a set of 78 cards which has pictures on them which can depict each and every aspect of your life and thus is able to give you answers to each and every area of your life that is your career, your love life, your health, your wealth and spirituality. Tarot works on the principle of the subconscious mind. We have three types of mind, the conscious, the subconscious and the superconscious. The conscious mind is the one with which you are doing your bodily movements. The subconscious mind is the one where your feelings are stored. You cannot change them, you cannot manipulate them. The answers always come from the subconscious mind. You cannot change the way you feel about something. You always have to deal with those feelings. Your superconscious mind is the one with which you can do superhuman um, deeds like levitation and astral travel and other things which, are, which seem a little bit impossible for, for the normal human mind. But let's not deviate too much from the topic. And let's come back to doing predictions uh, for all the signs, uh, Aries to Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. I won't keep you waiting a little longer than this. Let's start doing the predictions for the year 2021 for the zodiac sign of Aries. So dear Aries, for the year 2021, expect a little bit of delays as far as work is concerned. If you're expecting a promotion, expect a little bit of delay. The repercussions of the year 2020 are going to be felt in the year 2021. Please know that there are opportunities that are there for you, but they come with a little bit of delay. Do not make hasty decisions. Do not make uh, decisions which are going to be bad for your career in the long run. Um, for those of you who are already in business, please understand that you have to be very careful as far as documentation is concerned. Avoid making any silly mistakes as far as work and contracts are concerned. If you're going to be, there's, uh, for Aries, please understand that some of you are going to be stuck in stressful jobs. But it's always good to know that if to be in a job is much better than not to be in a job, right? Corona times after all, yeah? Uh, let's move on to your love life, dear Aries. Uh, for those of you who are already, um, for those of you who are single, uh, dear Aries, expect uh, social invitations from uh, the social media so you're going to be meeting a lot of people on online uh, everybody's going to be sitting at home during corona so it's obvious that uh, a lot of social invitations are going to be coming in but i don't think you're going to be committing to any one of those for those of uh, for those of you who are already in committed relationships it's going to be taking you a little bit of effort to maintain those uh, those relationships and these relationships are going to um, require effort from both the sides like you and your partner i would also like to point out that you your partner might be falling ill so you're going to be taking care of your partner uh, this year a lot so 2021 is going to be a year where you're going to be caring a lot for your partner uh, let's move on to your health. Wow, you look 
I mean, the cult for the health has come out really, really uh, good because you're going to be taking care of your health. You're going to be taking care of your health in a very good way. That means you, you're going to be eating well, you're going to be drinking well, you're going to be sleeping well. Uh, a lot of uh, attention is going to be paid uh, towards your bodily m movement uh, as such. So you're going to be doing a lot of exercise. So I, I do see very good times ahead for you, uh, uh, dear Aries, uh, for the year 2021. Let us now find out what's in store for the zodiac sign of Taurus uh, for the year 2021. The card that I have drawn today for Taurus is the World card. Now this card is considered as one of the best cards of the entire tarot deck. Why? Because it shows completion. For those of you who are in jobs as of right now, please expect a promotion. Your dreams are going to be manifested your dreams are going to be realized you're going to be getting accolades you're going to be getting promotions you're going to be getting rewards as far as work is concerned for those of you who are in business as of right now please expect you the completion of your business to happen as in to be able to finish the work in the right amount of time and thereby getting rewards for the same you will also be getting a lot of international opportunities and a lot of international clientele please be open to everything Business can never be restricted to only one place. Try to increase the business as much as possible. I do see very good times for you as far as work is concerned, dear Taurus. Uh, let's move on and see what's in store for you as far as love life is concerned, dear Taurus. Wow, you're getting all good cards uh, today, dear Taurus. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who are single, uh, dear Taurus, please expect... Uh, a relationship to come around pretty soon a soulmate and a twin flame also kind of a connection which is actually going to give you commitment and so a lot of people are going to be getting married this year dear Taurus um, uh, for those of you who are already in committed relationships expect a little bit growth as far as maturity is concerned of the of the relationship it's a very good year as far as love life is concerned dear Taurus even career looks absolutely phenomenal uh, for that matter. Your focus is obviously going to be on career, but love life also looks absolutely uh, fantastic. Let's move on and see how your health is uh, in the year uh, 2021. I think your year, year is going to actually very, 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 very good. <laughs> um, uh, so I do see uh, that most of you are going to be getting out of depression or if you've had any depressive attitude or depression or uh, thoughts on insomnia or if you're not able to sleep well you're going to be getting out of it completely you're going to be paying attention a lot towards your health and you're going to be making sure that uh, life is kind of sorted out for you um, and um, just you're going to let go of a lot of things that don't matter any uh, anymore yes you're going to be paying a lot of attention towards your uh, towards your work and that's why you need to uh, and that's why you want to be a little bit more fitter uh, but i do see you getting out of your sleeplessness that is your uh, basically insomnia or your depression which is a very good attitude to have uh, to have so this is what is in store for you dear uh, taurus for the year 2021 uh, let's find out what's in store for uh, for my Geminis for the year 2021. Um, wow. An important year, Gemini, for as far as your career is concerned. Uh, you're going to be watched, dear Gemini. There are going to be people who are going to be looking at you and are wanting to... Um, so your bosses, your seniors, your the people that are um, that are associated with you, they're going to be looking at you, the type of work, that, uh, the work and the effort that you're going to be um, putting in. The news ultimately is a little bit um, positive. I'm getting positive, a positive news. But um, you just need to be a little bit careful. Do not make any hasty decisions or do not do your work in haste, dear, um, dear, dear uh, Geminis. Pay attention towards work at the right time because it is very, very important. Wow. Do not do... Um, yeah. You're going to be a little bit stressed as far as work is concerned. So just try to maintain a work-life uh, kind of a balance. Avoid having um, a little bit of an, um, you know, avoid having your head in the cloud all the time because this is what is going to be happening for you in, in the year 2021. Uh, daydreaming is not the best thing to do. Uh, choose a goal, focus on your goal and then just go ahead and uh, try to achieve it. Don't have unre unrealistic expectations out of anybody. Let's move on uh, towards uh, your um, love life, dear uh, Gemini. 
Um, wow, there's going to be a lot of communication that is going to be happening, dear Gemini. But do you not already talk? Of course you talk, right? Dear Geminis love to talk. They have the best smiles of the zodiac, and yes, they like to talk. Especially if you're number five, if you're born on on of on five or the twenty third or the fourteenth of any month, then you're automatically a, a person who talks a lot. But Geminis like to talk a lot. Here, uh, there's a lot of money on your mind, uh, uh, dear Gemini. As far as Gemini's, as far as uh, even love life is concerned, I see that you do not want to make a commitment. And why is that? Are you not finding the right person, or are you not going to? Are you not looking out? Um, for those of you who are single, I see that you might just be in. A short-term kind of a relationship. It's like a short-term holiday romance kind of a uh, kind of a relationship. Uh, but I know that you are looking forward to marriage, but you're not finding the right uh, right person. Maybe you want someone who can talk to you like the way you talk to them, right? But I'm 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 hoping that if you can avoid any arguments that are that are there and seriously look out for marriage material or for look out for the right. Person, then it is going to uh, come across. Avoid any fights as far as committed relation. For those of you who are already in um, committed uh, relationships, um, let's move on and find out what's in store for you as far as um, your health is concerned. So this card, I know that you can see this card is upside down, um, but please understand that the cards have to be read both the ways so upright and uh, reversed as well what can i see as far as um, uh, your health is concerned i do see health improving and you really going to be for those of you who have issues as far as addictions are concerned alcoholism or drugs or any other type of addictions i think you're going to be getting over those addictions because you're going to be paying attention towards a little bit more towards your uh, health see gemini uh, your health is usually on the brighter side because somehow you are um, blessed by by the divine uh, so i do see um, health improving um, and it's just improving naturally, yeah? Do not take stress about anything. Do not worry about anything. Um, you know that your your worries are always short-lived and, and you know that. Uh, but I feel that you're going to be getting a lot uh, over a lot of alcoholism and a lot of uh, drugs. So all the addictions are going to be going away. I wish you very, uh, I wish you all the best, dear uh, Geminis. Let's find out what's in store for my dear Cancerians uh, for the year 2021. Uh, so dear Cancerians for the year 2021, I am seeing that you're going to be doing a lot of hard work and um, so both the biz the people who are in business and for the for the people who are in job, it is actually that you will be working, um, uh, you know, as far as you'll be doing two, three people's work and you'll be stressed and overloaded with, uh, you'll just be overloaded with work. Somehow, I think you'll be able to, uh, I think you'll be uh, in a position to uh, manage it. Um, as far as money is concerned, uh, please know that uh, money is also going to be coming in because uh, you're going to be working really, really hard uh, towards it. Wow, the same cards are coming up again and again uh, for, um, for, the, for the Cancerians. You don't need to do too much. You, you will not be in a position to actually do too much because, uh, uh, like, the, like I said, the repercussions of the year 2020 are going to be felt in the year 2021. So please expect that um, uh, although your money is not going to be improving drastically, it's not going to, go, it's not going to be depleting either. But uh, for uh, as far as your career is concerned, expect a lot of hard work coming in. I'm sorry, but this is what the cards are um, telling me. Um, let's move on to find out uh, as far what is in store as far as your uh, love life is concerned. Okay, so as far as your love life is concerned, I can see that um, this card is called as the Nine of Cups, which is a card of fulfillment and happiness. So for those of you who are single, please understand that you are going to be finding someone who is going to be coming across to you. Your love life is going to be really moving. So there is going to be a soulmate kind of a connection, uh, a person who is always going to be there for you for the rest of your life. Uh, so there's also a marriage on the cards. Uh, there's, there is a pregnancy on the cards for, for, those, who are, for those of you who are already uh, in a committed relationship already. There's going to be pregnancy. There's going to be fulfillment and just general happiness because of the things that are already there. Romantic relationships are going to move to the next uh, level uh, completely. 
uh, let's move on to see what's in store for you as far as your health is concerned now um, dear uh, cancerians i'm seeing that you need to really be paying attention as far as your health is concerned and um, it's always good um, i'm expecting a little bit of uh, a little bit of bigger surgery and um, uh, and i want you to be a little bit careful always take a second opinion uh, as far as doctors are concerned i'm not saying that they're wrong but it's always good to take a second opinion from a different doctor not only from your family doctor but from someone else also so to get a clear picture of whether you want to go ahead uh, with it or not and the major reasons but even though if you're going to undergo the surgery please understand that you're going to be i mean the surgery is going to be successful you're going to be healthy at the end of the day at the end of the uh, at the end of the year but it is going to be a pretty major surgery so i want you to be a little bit careful as far as your health is concerned dear cancerians let's find out what's in store for our dear uh, leos um for the year 2021 Wow, you know the card that I have drawn is actually the card of the Leo. You can see the lion, the Leo, the lion, but it's come upside upside down as far as your career is concerned. So dear, dear um, Leos, my favorite Leos, just make sure that you uh, are not stressing too much. Uh, there are many good things that are actually going on in your in 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 your career. You don't need to push it extra. You don't need to stress on it extra. So if you if you're currently in a job, try to just I mean I'm not saying lay low, but all I'm saying is just pay attention and just be happy or rather understand the blessings that you currently have because a lot of people don't have jobs and they um, you know what is happening around the world. So just be glad that you have a job rather than crib about it. It's a very important year for you, uh, dear Leo's, because I've got two major arcana cards, which is shows a little bit of movement as far as your entire life is concerned so it's a, it is an important year it is a year where you're going to be learning to to manage a lot of things um i i do see that you don't uh, that you don't need to push uh, too hard for uh, anything is concerned but you wow wow um so i'm i'm saying that you're going to be the star um you're going to be the star I, I, if you can see the cards really uh, well so it's it, the star card basically represents that you're going to be um, larger than life at your at your workplace. I think your your the way you perform your duties, you're absolutely bang on. Yes, I do know that you like to be in leadership positions, dear Leos, but I think you're going to be having a fantastic time as far as your career is concerned. For those of you who are looking out for jobs, I would want you to have a job in hand before you actually move out. But it's going to be a fantastic year, an important year as far as your career is concerned. Let's move on to understand, see three major arcanas, uh, uh, you know, there are three major arcanas as far as your career is concerned, so it is a very important year, uh, dear uh, Leos. Um, let's move on towards doing, uh, finding out how is your love, uh, your love life. Um, okay, so I've got the emperor which is again in the reverse. Wow. Uh, okay, let's see what the emperor is actually uh, telling us um, about your love life. So, as far as your love life is concerned, dear Leos, I think you're going to be in very casual relationships. Um, there's going to be, for those of you who are, who are single, are going to be having short-term relationships. They're, you're not looking forward to full-term relationships or you're not looking forward to doing uh, to, to making a commitment of, any, uh, of some sort. Be careful as far as infidelity is concerned, dear uh, Leos. Uh, please understand that if you are infidel, someday, uh, the person in front of you can also be uh, infidel. So, and I know that you like uh, Leos are loyal people. So just be careful of, of the of the people that you come across and the people that you uh, associate uh, associate with. Avoid being a little bit too dominating as far as relationships are concerned because the people tend to normally um, you know, kind of uh, run away from uh, overly dominating um, uh, uh, overly dominating uh, partners again i'm getting uh, again i'm getting an important um, uh, these two cards again that have come are again very important i don't think you're looking forward to settling down anytime soon or uh, you don't you want to take your time to make those kind of decisions because you want to feel that commitment uh, from someone so you're not really looking uh, so i'm expecting that as far as your love life is concerned no commitment but those of you who are already in a committed relationship uh, it's going to be an okay kind of a year where you're not going to be actually making too much 
um, uh, efforts towards the relationship is just going to go like the way it is going as of right now. It's not going to de deteriorate. It's just going to be as normal uh, like the way it is. Leo's, yes, I know that you're very family-oriented kind of people and it, it matters to you a lot. But, uh, you know, you've already laid the ground uh, for having this kind of a relationship. So don't expect too much of too much for growth as far as relationship just it's going to be a normal uh, kind of a year but but an important year uh, let's move on and find out what's in store as far as your health is concerned wow okay so this card basically shows uh, talks about um this is the eight of cups and uh, yes it is come upside down please understand that i have to read the cards upside down as well uh, so um, let's see what's in store. Uh, the Eight of Cups basically talks about you moving um, away from uh, things but here you are kind of stuck. That means that you're not going to be really working towards your health but I would love for you to work towards your health because yes it's corona time and you know that health needs uh, attention. Uh, I think you should, you should um, take care of uh, of your eating habits firstly you should also examine your attitude towards your own health are you really paying attention towards your health and if if you're not tell me why not i mean why uh, you know that things are uh, not absolutely bang on right but then you have to pay attention right that's the only way that you will be absolutely fine so uh, health needs attention dear leos eat well drink well take your sunlight it's very very important let us find out what's in store for our dear virgos uh, the earth sign for the year 2021 dear my dear favorite virgos how are you doing today um dear virgos um the year 2021 Although you're very meticulous with work and you are workaholic people completely, I do see that you're going to be doing a lot of goal planning. So for those of you who are in, in jobs, uh, please understand that you're going to be doing a lot of future planning. So that means job for the future, uh, the thoughts for the future, goal planning, retirement planning, uh, and a lot of just planning uh, for what is, what's in store for future. You guys are very practical by nature. So you, you guys are thinking correctly. But those of you who are in business, again there's going to be a lot of uh, thought process or, or a lot of uh, thought process which is going to lead to future goal planning so you're going to be doing planning for one year two years five years ten years fifteen years you guys are really really critical people so i'm expecting this your entire focus uh, your entire goal is going to be completely on only and only on future planning so you're not going to be living in the moment, which is very impractical. <laughs> but I know that uh, Virgos, you're, you, you guys are very practical by nature. Uh, so, but then so there's, like I said, there's going to be a lot of goal planning, which is good in the long run. And uh, a lot of, like I said, a lot of retirement planning. Uh, let's move on and find out what's in store for, for as far as your love life is concerned. Wow. Uh, dear Virgos, what's, going, what's, what's happening in your love life? um it's the reverse three of of swords now if it were this way that means if you would have a, had a heartbreak but what i'm getting is that some of you have already had a heartbreak in the year 2020 or are actually undergoing a heartbreak but i feel that if one person goes the next person is going to be coming uh, coming in so i think that's a win-win situation for you for those of you who are single uh, dear Virgos, please expect that someone new is going to be uh, coming in. But you very, I, 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 you don't take your decisions uh, really fast. So uh, you're going to, you're going to be taking your entire time to, to decide whether you want to be with this person. You do not want to be with this person. Uh, so yes, you're going to be walking away from relationships that do not serve your higher purpose. Yes, you're very, very um, careful about your heart. Just be careful again. Do not let anyone else enter your heart who is not good for your highest benefit and uh, yes I, I i do feel that there's also going to be a return of some some exes uh, be careful I, I know that you never go back to your exes but there are certain karmic relationships which you keep on going uh, keep on happening forth and uh, forth and back and forth back and forth this is what uh, normally is uh, happening as far as your love uh, love life is concerned also there's going to be a little bit of misunderstandings dear um, virgos so just make sure that um, you speak uh, in the most simplest uh, simplest manner 
um, sometimes your simplicity <laughs> hurts people, but it's absolutely okay, right? Uh, let's move on and just try to find out uh, what's in store as far as your health is concerned. An important card, dear Virgos, okay? This card is called as the Fool card, which is the first card of the deck. And it basically, it's come upside down. So that means, dear uh, uh, Virgos, what you're going to be doing in this year as far as your health is concerned is that uh, I need you to be careful as far as your health is concerned. You are going to be accident, I mean, you're accident prone. You're going to have small, small, uh, small, small, um, uh, you, you know, you just bang your, bang your leg somewhere or your foot somewhere. And that's, that's because you're not going to be in the present moment. You have to think about the present moment because, you know, as far as the other cards are concerned, you're just thinking about the future so much that you're not paying attention to your current moment. And that is not right. So uh, be careful about your uh, about your health. It's very important to have positive thoughts. And yes, Virgos, you do think you are the overthinkers of the uh, of the entire uh, of the zodiac. So uh, the Virgos, Aquarius, and Pisces are the overthinkers of the zodiac. But just make sure that you are, um, uh, uh, you know, not overthinking, uh, not overthinking, and just may try to maintain a positive. Um, uh, uh, positive attitude towards uh, towards your health work towards your health drink alcohol less uh, drink water more run a little bit i know that you have smaller petite bodies because you guys are virgos but it doesn't mean that you're not going to be paying attention towards your health yeah uh, let's move on to the next sign let's find out what's in store for our dear librans for the year 2021 Okay, Librans are supposed to be the best sign of the zodiac as far as I'm concerned. My personal favorite uh, are Librans because they're just very charming by nature, you see. Uh, let's move on to see what's in store uh, for my dear Librans for the year 2021. As far as your career is concerned, dear, dear Librans, uh, there's going to be a little bit of delays. There's going to be a little bit of misunderstandings. There's going to be a little bit of uh, miscommunication as far as work is concerned. For those of you who are in job, try to communicate assertively and effectively uh, and uh, try to put your... You don't need to be very harsh with your words. You need to be very disciplined. You have to, uh, you have to understand what is uh, right for you in the long, in the long run. You have the brains, you have the mental capability to think all of these things, but you're just not using using them only because maybe you're clouded with some, um, with some negativity around. For those of you who are in business, just make sure that your uh, communication, uh, communication devices, and your communication, your emails, and everything, is is completely. Uh, um, uh, in in place because uh, I do see communication issues as far as uh, work and business also and as far as uh, uh, the people who are in job also you're not supposed to be resting at work at all okay and don't be overly critical don't be harsh to your own self don't beat yourself so much that you get you you yourself get the negativity and and decide no this is really not working for me this is just not happening and uh, don't try to over push things understand that things always happen at the right time yes you have to do a lot of goal planning but you cannot push around you cannot keep on pushing people to an extent where they will not be in a position to help you uh, uh, either right um, let's move on to your uh, love life. What's in store for you as far as your love life is concerned, my dear um, Librans? So, wow, I think money is a little bit too much on your mind. <laughs> Why is that, Librans? You're really working towards, um, are you really working towards uh, um, just your career a little bit too much? Um, but anyway, I, uh, what I see as far as your car, uh, as far as your love life is concerned, dear Librans, is that you are going to be uh, for those of you who are single. I don't see you getting into uh, long term relationships. I feel that even the long term relationships you're going to be looking after. I mean, you're going to be not paying attention to them fully. Uh, the thing about Librans is that they get bored very fast in relationships. So something new has to keep on exciting them all the time, all the time. So um, for those of you who are in committed relationships, you might just get bored. But doesn't mean that 
you know it's time to let go of the relationship don't do that think twice before you do this because it's difficult to find love it's difficult to find the right person to love in the in the first place so um, um, uh, no one is um, dispensable uh, dearly friends so uh, I want you to do of course I want you to pay attention try to work things out in your relationship try to talk things out try to do some goal planning as far as your relationship is concerned and I can see things um, moving um, ahead for you only if you do pay attention towards your uh, love life okay uh, let's move on and see what's in store as far as your health is concerned okay though the only positive the most positive card for you that has come out as far as your health is concerned is because it's also a card of balance yeah so uh, th this card is it's called as a temperance card that means you're getting some blessings from some angels and i also see that you're going to be paying uh, attention towards your health you have moderation is going to be the key so even if your your uh, your habits are bad you're going to be trying to uh, get a uh, get a better grip about uh, about the about your bad habits uh, i think you're going to be paying attention towards your health and you're going to be trying to maintain that balance moderation really is the key eating uh, eating on time sleeping on time drinking water on time and getting your sunlight on time is going to be a very key factor uh, as far as your health is concerned health is somehow you're blessed dear uh, librans yeah and uh, yes you're really really blessed i think some of uh, some of you already know how to maintain your health dear dear librans and some of you have been given that uh, information from your fathers or from from people who are a little bit elder to you or doctors who are uh, male in in nature but i do see a good health for you as far as uh, libras are concerned um let's find out what's in store for our scorpios for the year 2021 Wow, okay. So dear Scorpios, as far as your career is concerned, expect a little bit of setback. Some of you might have to leave jobs. Some of you might have to leave your businesses and um, but don't worry, there are people around you who are ready to help you and who are going to um, going to be giving you advice which needs to be followed. Expect a little bit of setback as far as work is concerned, but it doesn't mean that there are other, uh, there are there aren't any other jobs in the market. But don't be don't dwell in your sorrow a little bit too much, uh, dear uh, dear Scorpios. For those of you who are in business, you have to keep your emotions out of your business and be only focused uh, uh, and very practical as far as business is concerned. Even if you are uh, yes, there is a definite change on the cards, uh, dear Scorpios. As far as your career is concerned you're going to be moving jobs you're going to be moving offices uh, even businesses are going to move from one location to the other that's definitely uh, on the cards but do not be depressed please understand that this is a blessing in disguise in the long run and you will think about this uh, going back and you'll be like wow this really happened and yes you're moving you love whether you like it or not but there is a definite definite uh, moment just don't be sad okay uh, it's absolutely all right let's see what's in store as far as your um love life is concerned okay so there are going to be people around you uh dear uh, scorpios who are going to um give you advice and you're going to be listening to that advice so whatever issues that you have had as far as uh, your relationships are concerned uh, you are those those issues are just going to vanish those issues are just going to uh resolve uh, there's going to be a lot of resolution that is going to be uh, that is, that is going to be happening and you'll also understand why this is happening it's just a normal understanding that you're going to be getting uh, because of maturity because of the things that are uh, already present uh, uh, you know with the, with the advice that you've really really got so for those of you who are single uh, you might just come across someone who gives you a very good advice and you're going to be going ahead with it now uh, for those of you who are in committed relationships and having issues as far as their uh, their partners are concerned expect the resolution of uh, conflicts to be happening uh, big time but not immediately it's going to be in the later uh, part of the uh, of the year trust your intuition you know uh, you know scorpius you have the highest one of the highest intuitions because you you are a water sign so uh, you know the truth within just accept it and just forgive the your partners or forgive the people that have hurt you because uh 
it's important to you too right it's uh, it's it's just that uh, if you don't forgive them then you'll just end up breaking all your relationships and that's not the right to, that's not the most right thing to do so yes i i do see a lot of improvement of your relationships but you have to do a lot of forgiving dear uh, scorpios i know you are revengeful uh, i saw on scorpio right that um, uh, let i mean you know forget karma i'm going to get you myself <laughs> that's really scorpio but i like scorpios i'm a water sign myself so uh, i think i gel very well uh, with uh, water signs um as far as uh, your health is concerned dear scorpios i do see that uh, please don't spend a fortune on your health you can do the very basic things now the basic things are again uh, having a positive attitude drinking on time drinking a lot of water on time <laughs> drinking and eating food on time just do the normal things exercise on time and and i see uh, a little bit of uh, health improvement but then again you have to pay attention it's not that it's just uh, it's going to be completely easy for you yes i think you you're really concerned about your money so don't don't stress too much don't stress too much don't waste your money on uh, on going to a gym when you can do things at home itself right it's like you know you your bodies are such that you always have to um uh, it's easier to maintain them somehow and so it's just the simplest exercises that you can sit and do at home i would uh, really recommend that you uh, do it let's find out what's in store for for sagittarius for the year 2021 Uh, dear Sagittarius, for the year twenty twenty one, as far as your careers is concerned, expect good stuff. That is definitely a good good times ahead for you as far as your career is concerned. You're going to be doing a lot of uh, planning. You're very organized as it is. You're going to be do doing a lot of planning as far as re even retirement. Uh, is concerned you have the money uh, you just for those of you who are in jobs you're going to do, think about how your career is going to go ahead for the next uh, for the entire year and again like i said retirement plans for those of you who are in business your business is going to be doing really well uh, again then again you're going to be doing a lot of uh, retirement planning i do see a lot of retirement planning and for those of you who are in business i would suggest that if you're looking to forward to expanding your business always look for expanding your business in metro cities rather than just in uh, rural areas because the more money you get or the more opportunities you get you'll get more opportunities in obviously in in metro cities so career is looking absolutely brilliant for you dear uh, sagittarius let's move on to see what's in store as far as your love life is concerned so uh Dear Sagittarius, as far as your love life is concerned, I can see that you are wanting a lot of um, maybe alone time. <laughs> so if you're single, uh, you need your time to maybe get over certain things or uh, just even your own time so that you can uh, gather your thoughts and make the right decision as far as your partner is concerned. Uh, you're very practical and you are. um you're a very practical person i do see a lot of um you're going to be doing a lot of um compatibility analysis of the of the person that is coming uh, to you uh, and uh, i don't know I, i do see a lot of alone time so even if you, if even if you're in committed relationships you need your own time uh, uh and sometimes it's possible sometimes the other person doesn't think right sometimes they think that why does this person need so much of alone time but it's just because you need your mind completely cleared this is a very practical thing to do you're going to be um, yeah you're going to be walking some of you are going to be walking in and out of relationships which are not going to be serving you well uh these are going to be short term relationships too but um uh, but none of them i'm not seeing a complete commitment but those of you who are in uh, committed relationships i'm i'm seeing that again like i said uh, alone time or time which is uh, just yours and uh, to just to gather the thoughts i don't see a break in a relationship or any uh, major issues as far as committed relationships are concerned um but the singles the the the, the people who are single are going to be having a lot of uh, uh, a lot of <laughs> one night stands <laughs> So this is in store for you as far as uh, your love life is concerned. Uh let's move on to find out what's in store as far as your health is concerned uh, dear sagittarius um dear sagittarius i want you to be really uh paying attention towards your attitude and towards your emotions so it's the the card is called as the two of swords which is 
basically a card which talks about making a decision or mental thought or mental balance or mental peace or mental um, attitude so yes you have to uh, the the major things that are going to be coming this year for you is that you need to be paying attention towards your thoughts and uh, the thoughts manifest things I think everybody knows that by now so uh, you will have a balanced behavior but you're gonna have to work towards it a, a, a little bit um, headaches are, uh, are are there but just try to have a good diet plan uh, try to have um, uh, try to eat right sleep right uh, drink enough water and just drink enough water I think that that's going to that's the theme for 2021 to drink enough water uh, enough water is at least eight glasses of water every single day that's a lot of water but then it's required right so this is what is there on the cards for you dear Sagittarius let's find out what's in store for uh, dear Capricorns for the year 2021 now Capricorns are usually where the hard workers of the entire zodiac and they work really really well and what's in store for you this year so for those of you who are in jobs dear Capricorns uh, expect um, a lot of people coming to you for getting advice uh, expect a lot of gathering of people and expect a lot of uh, uh, people just trying to just trying to get some advice from you so that they can grow in their career as far as your own career is concerned uh, you will be talking to a lot of seniors and you will be getting a lot of feedback i'm not seeing the promotion promotion as such but I, as far as for those of you who are in business and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of business partnerships even for those who are in jobs you will really consider doing a business probably with your partner or with someone that you are uh, uh, like really uh, you know with whom you have a good relationship but i'm do i but i really am seeing a lot of business and a lot of partnerships that are going to be happening as far as your uh, uh, career is concerned so there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be coming in uh, in 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 your life uh, just make sure that you are choosing the right uh, partner for the for the for the, uh, for the business yeah uh, let's move on and find out what's in store as far as your um, as far as your love life is concerned Wow, uh, dear, um, uh, dear Capricorns, why? <laughs> uh, dear Capricorns, you have to grow up. Um, so um, uh, your attitude towards, uh, I feel that you're going to have a childlike attitude as far as your love life is concerned. I, I think it's, uh, you know, uh, maturity always is very, very, very important as far as uh, uh, taking a relationship to the next level uh, I, I think you're going to be demanding for those of you who are single you're going to be demanding a lot of attention from your from your prospective partner or from your partner and that might just seem childlike so uh, just be careful about your attitude towards find when you're finding a new partner even when you're in a, in, in a committed relationship uh, dear uh, Capricorn um, you're going to be wanting wow you're going to be wanting to uh, seek a lot of attention and a lot of childlike attention uh, so I want you to be behave a little bit maturely and um, some of you are going to be moving houses or moving uh, if, if you're planning to move in with some someone now is not the right time I think uh, don't make decisions as far as uh, like a child think things through uh, before moving in before doing the things that are uh, uh, detrimental for your love life uh, for those of you who are already in committed relationships like I said um, avoid silly arguments or childlike uh, childlike um, behavior uh, that is what, that is what your uh, cards are uh, telling me as of right now uh, let's move on and find out what's in store for you as uh, as far as your um, health is concerned dear uh, Capricorns so uh, dear Capricorns what I'm seeing as far as your uh, health is concerned is that you are going to be there's going to be a lot of discipline there's going to be over discipline as far as your health is concerned so over discipline sometimes is good sometimes is not good but be logical be method uh, you know use your methods correctly as far as your health is concerned uh, uh, you know you're doing a good job managing your body you're doing a good job you'll be doing a good job managing uh, 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 things correctly but um, over discipline it's like stressing something on too much so yes you will have a lot of intuition you you understand your you'll understand your body so just make sure that uh, you're not you're not exerting your body at all just 
like I'm, I like I've been telling everybody drink water eat good food stay home exercise that's all you need to be uh, doing don't need to be extra disciplined just just follow a, a, a simple uh, a simple method let's find out what's in store for our dear Aquarius for the year 2021 Dear Aquarius, an important card as far as your career is concerned. So that means you're going to be giving a, a lot of attention towards your work. It's going to be a very balanced, um, a balanced uh, uh, year for you. That means that you, whatever amount of effort that you're going to be putting in, you're going to be getting the benefit out of it. For those of you who are, uh, who are in jobs, uh, it's going to be a very good year because uh, whatever effort that you have put in, even in the, in, in the year 2020 or even in the, in, in the, in the previous years, you're going to be uh, getting the result of those in the year 2021. It's going to be a very good year uh, as far as career is concerned. For those of you who are in business, uh, you're going to be signing new contracts. They're going to be uh, a lot of um, uh, documentation that is going to be happening so you're going to be meeting new people new buyers new sellers new uh, new acquaintances and there's going to be a lot of documentation and a lot of uh, signing of things that are happening and for the benefit it's going to be in your favor it's going to do the right things and your uh, the way you think and the way you want things to happen is it's going to happen exactly uh, like that so your color is looking absolutely bang on uh, uh, dear aquarius Let's find out what's in store as far as your love life is concerned. Wow, dear, dear Aquarius, you don't like to stay committed, do you? <laughs> so I find a lot of Aquarius um, um, uh, people, uh, overthinkers, they are overthinkers of the zodiac. Like I said earlier in my, in my, in, uh, in one of the, in my uh, video that uh, Aquarius, Virgo and Pisces are the overthinkers of the of the zodiac and here also what you're going to be doing here um, Dear uh, Aquarius is that you're going to be overthinking and you're going to just be paying attention towards Is this gonna work? Is this not gonna work? Is this is there going to be something more that's going to be coming up? Is not something not going to happen? What is happening? Why is it happening? Is it going to happen in the first place? So there's a lot of thinking that is happening. For those of you who are single, I feel that because you would be so involved in just thinking, you're not really making a move towards commitment or you're not really ready to make that commitment probably probably because of your overthinking, um, uh, probably because, like I said, because of your overthinking abilities. <laughs> so um, uh, whatever you think is right. I, 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 I agree with your decisions. And uh, it's always good to uh, think things through before you take things to the next level. But if you keep on thinking too much and you try to find flaws in everybody, you will not find the, you will not, you will never find someone. So for those of you who are single, uh, I wanted to let go of your um, attitude towards finding the flaws in everybody and um, think things through. Think that you want to be in a committed relationship and, and you will be. You have to make that decision. For those of you who are already in a commitment, uh, uh, in a committed relationship, I see that you are, the relationship is just going to be on a, on a straight line. It's not really moving up or it's not really moving down. It's just going to be a, on, a, on a straight um, uh, line. So this is what as far, uh, this is uh, what your love life is uh, telling me, dear Aquarius. Wow, as far as your health is concerned, dear Aquarius, uh, I feel that you're going to be really working towards your health. Yes, your mind is the one that takes control over every aspect of your life, dear Aquarius. So I feel that you're going to be really working towards it and you're going to be achieving everything that you want to achieve naturally. Just don't overdo it. Just don't over overwork on your health. It's just whatever you choose you're going to be achieving uh, those things so health looks absolutely fine in the year 2021 20, uh, dear aquarius let's find out what's in store for my dear pisces i'm a Piscean, <laughs> so i'm going to talk about myself too Piscean is the last sign of the zodiac and um it's a feminine sign and again overthinkers psychics tarot card readers neurologists or people who are just they have uh, a lot the highest intuition the people with the highest intuition in the inter, in the entire zodiac now this is also uh, true for those who are having a moon sign in in pisces or having an ascendant in pisces so it works out pretty uh, pretty well for you now what's in store as far as your career is concerned dear um, pisces um 
an important card, the chariot. Okay, it's come upside down. That means that uh, there are going to be delays as far as your career is concerned. For those of you who are in job, expect delays, but important. It is important that you learn the lessons uh, throughout to understand what is exactly the right type of work or the type of job that you should be doing, uh, dear Pisces. Uh, so. Uh, expect like I said expect a little bit delays expect your car to break down dear, uh, dear Pisces okay expect delays as far as um, uh, uh, signing of contracts is concerned for those of you who are in business expect uh, news to get delayed but please understand that things are definitely going to happen but it's only a matter of delays that are that is there it's it's a definite yes um, uh, you you're going to be using your brains a lot uh, as far as your career is concerned uh, but please understand Pisces that not everybody is, uh, is going to be at the same speed as you are or no, not everybody thinks so if you think that okay today you want to do something and you expect it to happen by tomorrow that's not going to happen you have to wait uh, for things to actually um, manifest uh, in in the in the right uh, manner be careful about your uh, 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 you know uh, be careful about your competitors because some of them are going to be pretty strong um, so just um, just make sure that you are uh, paying attention towards your career and goal planning but don't be don't push too uh, don't push too hard uh, as far as career is concerned let's move on and just find out what's in store for my dear fishes uh, of the zodiac um, Pisces um, let's see wow okay so the card that has come out for uh, your uh, love life dear Pisces is that uh, you're going to be feeling a little bit overwhelmed or you're going to be feeling uh, a little bit pressure as, pressure as far as your love life is concerned for those of you who are single some of you are going to be feeling the, the pinch of just being single for those of you who are in committed relationships though, though they are going to be feeling the pinch of being in, in committed relationships also uh, all the passions are very romantic in nature and they they dream a lot uh, but expect that uh, love life is not going to be that it's not going to be that bad but expect that um, there's going to be a little bit of um, pressure that you're going to be feeling uh, as far as um, uh, your uh, emotions are concerned it's just but you'll have to maintain you'll have to manage that that's what the theme of 2021 is to manage your emotions and uh, for, for, uh, for a lot of you there's going to be a lot of communication and uh, communication that is going to be opening up of uh, uh, a lot of communications that is going to be opening up peak careful of your exes or the people that have already hurt you Pisces, Pisces you get hurt very easily just make sure that you don't fall for the same trap that you um, fell earlier <laughs> right um, let go of people who are not good for you just uh, let go of them they are not going to give you anything that is um, uh, going to be beneficial uh, towards you um, uh, to make your decisions really w uh, wisely as, uh, as far as your love life is concerned uh, for those of you in committed relationships like I said that um, you're going to feel a little bit of pressure or a little bit you'll feel overwhelmed with this entire uh, thing but uh, to have a uh, to have a control over your emotions is the best thing that you can learn dear uh, patients and be very practical and keep your heart aside and think with your head if not if you're not able to do that talk to a friend who is very practical and they'll give you the right advice you have a lot of good friends dear, dear uh, patients okay let's move on and find out what's in store as far as your health is concerned dear Pisces dear fishes hmm. okay dear patients your um, as far as your health is concerned let me see what's uh, what is in store for you uh, so um, dear uh, patients uh, some of you most of you will have to take care of your health this year there's going to be a lot of healing that is going to be required uh, for uh, there's going to be a lot of healing that is going to be re required for you and you'll have to uh, be ready to accept someone's um, advice or just help because they are there are people to help you so just make sure wow you got two and two and a 
and a heartbreak. Wow, and not a heartbreak, but three of uh, swords. And I'm saying that you'll have to heal if you want to really move on in in life. So everything is to deal with your emotions because you're a Pisces. So uh, make sure that you are uh, healing from everything, decoding from the people that are no no longer serving you for your highest purpose. Be careful about your um, heart's condition. Obviously, I'm not seeing a very bad bad thing that is that is happening, but what i'm seeing is that you should be ready to accept help from people that are there for you uh, health needs definitely needs um, attention uh, so with this i conclude the the readings uh, the predictions for the year 2021 i hope you've uh, you're going to be taking good care of yourself uh, just make sure that you are uh, staying indoors uh, stay blessed and uh, stay happy uh, god bless you bye